Raising Demons, by Shirley Jackson, A Literary Analysis Shirley Jackson, renowned for her unsettling tales of domestic life, takes readers on an intimate journey through the chaos of parenthood in her memoir, Raising Demons. Published in 1957 as a sequel to her earlier work, Life Among the Savages, Jackson's second memoir offers a candid and humorous exploration of motherhood and family dynamics. Through her witty anecdotes, sharp observations, and clever storytelling, Jackson provides a unique perspective on the challenges and joys of raising children. One of the central themes in Raising Demons is the clash between societal expectations and the realities of motherhood. Jackson's witty and often sardonic narration highlights the absurdity of conventional notions of motherhood. She challenges the idealized image of the perfect mother by openly admitting her own flaws and frustrations. For example, Jackson writes, I'm not sure that I should be allowed to be a mother. I'm not old enough to be a mother, or to have children old enough to be mothers. This subversion of traditional motherhood ideals is further emphasized by Jackson's portrayal of her children. She affectionately nicknames them demons and describes their mischievous antics in a light-hearted and endearing manner. By doing so, she underscores the idea that children are not always angelic and parenting can be a chaotic and messy experience. Through her candid storytelling, Jackson invites readers to embrace the imperfections of parenthood and view motherhood from a more realistic perspective. Another significant theme in Raising Demons is the role of humor in coping with the challenges of family life. Jackson's sharp wit and humorous anecdotes serve as a coping mechanism for dealing with the chaos that comes with raising a large family. She uses humor to navigate the absurd and often frustrating situations she encounters as a mother. For instance, when describing the daily chaos of getting her children ready for school, Jackson writes, Our mornings are really a triumph of organization, I am afraid to say that if there were a war today and I were asked to do my bit, it would have to be done between the hours of 9 and 12 in the morning. Through humor, Jackson not only provides comic relief but also highlights the universal aspects of family life. Readers can relate to the challenges she faces, such as sibling rivalry, the struggle to maintain order in a chaotic household, and the exhaustion of managing multiple children. Jackson's ability to find humor in these situations allows readers to see the lighter side of parenthood and connect with her on a personal level. Additionally, Raising Demons explores the theme of societal expectations versus individual identity. Jackson's identity as a writer is an integral part of her life, and she navigates the demands of motherhood while striving to maintain her own creative pursuits. She faces criticism and judgment from others who question her commitment to her family because of her writing career. However, Jackson remains unapologetic about her dual roles as a mother and a writer, asserting her right to pursue her passion. This theme resonates with the broader issue of women's roles in society during the 1950s. Jackson challenges the restrictive gender roles and expectations of the time, asserting her autonomy and refusing to conform to societal norms. Her determination to balance her creative aspirations with motherhood serves as an inspiration for women facing similar challenges. In conclusion, Shirley Jackson's Raising Demons offers a unique and candid exploration of motherhood, family life, and the role of humor in coping with the challenges of parenthood. Through her witty storytelling, she subverts traditional notions of motherhood, challenges societal expectations, and asserts her own identity as a writer and mother. Jackson's memoir continues to resonate with readers as a humorous and insightful reflection on the complexities of family dynamics and the pursuit of personal passion in the face of societal pressures.